an entire domain ensconced in shadow curse. That's quite the enchantment. Those shadows. There's power coursing through them. Oddly familiar. Better stay on alert. Shrouded in no ordinary shadows. What evil lurks within such darkness? It's the only way to Moonrise Towers. We have to push through. from your mind. to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. You're resourceful. You'll find a way. Don't give me that look. It's a good thing that I'm resistant to the shadows. This way I can help you. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicius. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. together. Keep to the light. Stop! Who's there? I'll be the judge of that. Store your weapons, put your hands up, and walk into the light, slowly.
always be a gentleman. Watch the shadows. Time's over, pet. Ah, oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers, and you're getting them out. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to Avernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mazora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. And what condition is that? Your mind links with Wills, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? A doubtful Will catches his breath, but says nothing. And your connection fades. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? You recall an old incantation from a children's story, said to void a devil's contract. Abi diabole et nunquam ready. <laughs> I 
I've never seen such a fearless display of sheer idiocy. Bravo! <laughs> Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearers' fulfillment of related obligation. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. Moving in. This dark land must be filled with the broken, the beaten, the desperate. The perfect praying ground for a devil who offers a way out for those who sign on the dotted line. I hope we end up seeing our friend Raphael down here somewhere. You don't have to sign anything. Just help me find him. When I was taken to his house, I was caught off guard. But now, now I know what to ask for. Perfect! I knew you would understand. Damn it! Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse? I want to believe that as much as you do. Almost as much as Will does. But I just know there will be more to the story. There always is. It's a bad idea to play games with the devil. You never win. Not ever. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it, but I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. Can already feel her scheming. She won't let me go without a fuss. Trust me on this. Not just rot, I'd have to fight. One of those mindless blobs clawing at demons on the front lines of the blood war. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held, and I know I chose right. <clears throat> Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the cold wells. They were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the flaming fist, brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe, daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. <laughs> I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. Yes and no. Father taught me the four pillars of power. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. He reckoned I'd follow in his footsteps. First as a fist marshal, then as a duke. Vanquish evil, maintain order, save the world. But a duke makes bedfellows with more monsters than he slays. 
father called it diplomacy. I called it hypocrisy. In the frontiers, there is no posturing, no diplomacy. I slay monsters. I don't consort with them. Even if I might look like one. Seems like a good moment to talk. The shadow curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. It is a living being in the form of a young fey boy with the forest itself in his eyes. His name is Thaniel. I've met him in my meditations, but since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. But if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the Shadow Fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the Shadow Curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness, or some lingering echo of what we seek. Don't worry. If you find something, you will know it. of the Absolute is strong here, and getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing. Saving those people in the grove. Not everyone would have helped. The hurt runs deeper than she's willing to show you. <sighs> the voice of the Absolute. Stronger this time. Beneath the resilient veneer, a touch of fragility. She needs comfort. It's been a very long time since someone did that. For me. <sighs> a woman by the name of Berlin. We were close. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. If 
feels like would be I much prefer sorry did you want something To die in a place like this. <sighs> Still alive. So that's progress. Well, the minister's not alive, so it might as well. It's closer to hand. Some healing for a wizard in me. Welcome, rest. Power in these shadows. to press ahead you know I feel a connection between us like we're two souls walking the same path you might be a little naive in the ways of the world but I see promise in you ambition I just worry that we're not considering all our options when it comes to our uninvited guests how many people are infected with them, do you think? Hundreds? Thousands? And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the Worm's Thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield.
I mean, I assume there's some device controlling these things, so we find that. Murder some people and, um... Look, I'm not a details person, all right? But turning up and causing chaos has worked for us so far. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and liberate the world from this evil. Do. It's not often the universe hands you something like this. We'd be fools to squander it. Of course, this all assumes we live long enough to find this, uh, moonrise. But I'm feeling optimistic. The dog wags his tail. He gives in and surrenders. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily. see you standing there lost in the steps truth be told I need them to be just right I wouldn't want to fail my new partner as luck would have it he just arrived may I have this dance <laughs> 